second and third, it is not to be missed. I actually was talking to PBA today because I got um, asked if I would teach because you guys know I am a judge at the Naha Awards. So I'm excited to be a part of that. And I'm also super excited to teach at the digital event, which is the um, ISSC show in Long Beach. It is digital now, which is really sad. I'm doing good. I'm so proud of you. You're such an amazing, you're doing amazing things. Thank you, mama. Hi from Ottawa. Gorgeous. I'll have to visit you sometime. Antonia's here. We just get, we sent you prayers. Hopefully you're feeling okay. So we're going to take press on gel. I'm going to do our express technique. And we're going to apply it halfway on the nail bed. Popped in the recliner, but I'm here. Hopefully they don't got you too looped up with all the painkillers. So let's apply press on gel to the inside. And actually working with press on gel when you're doing your own nails, I actually like it better when it's colder because it sits better. Um, it doesn't move around as much. Hi from Montreal. Bonjour. Bonsoir. No painkillers. Press down firmly. Leave a little space at the cuticle area so that way that mixer bit can get in there really nicely. And freeze. What are you guys going to be eating on Christmas Eve? Those of you guys that celebrate Christmas, let me know what your traditional Christmas meals are because we at my house are having a dilemma. We don't know what to eat. What do you guys eat on Christmas, Antonio, at your house? Oh, really? So almost like Thanksgiving, but with tamales? They make me sleepy, yes. I just take ibuprofen when I recover from surgery. Make sure there's no bubbles. Yes, beautiful. Let's make this for a minute, you guys. And I don't think I've talked about it live not here on Instagram, on Facebook, but on Instagram yesterday, I did showcase the... Oh. I did showcase the new Fun Gel La Dog collection. We dropped 20 new Fun Gel colors yesterday, you guys. They are so beautiful. And Gloria, who one day I have to bring on camera, moves everything around when she cleans my desk. And then I can never find anything. That's why I'm always being like, where did Gloria put it? Arroz con gandules, pierna, pastel, ensalada, pap. Ay, no, por favor, que ricura eso. Are you going to be making linguini? Ham, lots of ham. Weight watches, food, popcorn, yogurt. We have barbecue because it's hot in Australia. That's right, it is. Um, the summer, the middle of your guys' summer. Ham, mashed potatoes, stuffing, sweet potatoes, corn, broccoli with cheese, a sauce, homemade ham, gravy. Of course, deserts, you know, Christmas cookies, the Christmas pie, brownies, whatever. Wow, wait. Show me the swatches, please. Yes, I'm going to do that right now. I totally won't pronounce that collection name. Mom is. Oh my gosh. Save, save, save me some. So this is the Lottie Dot collection, and it actually comes in the new fun gel packaging. Año Haseo. It comes in this new packaging. Ah, almost knocked it over. Some veggies. So, this is Fun Gel 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109. And these are all one coat coverages. This collection is super neutral. It's beautiful in every skin tone. I wanted to create colors that were very timeless with this collection. Very fun, very classy, very just timeless pieces, very safe colors as well too, and just colors that look great on everybody. Max, voy a conocerte en Orlando, que emoción! And these are 1, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. These are a little bit more fun, but also super dope. These two colors, you guys, are proprietary pigment blends, 
and they are just so magical, so stunning, so, so stunning. Aren't they beautiful? All these colors are just so beautiful. This is the one I swatched yesterday on Instagram, and I didn't have time to do the video for Facebook, but um, I'll do a video swatching these later. Um, I did use the gold, I think 109, and I'll be using it again right now for my thumb. So let's file this nail and give her that nighty square. And we're also gonna be using our new mixer bit. I originally wanted to call the mixer bit blender bit, and I will unconsciously call it the blender bit all the time because it was going to be called that originally, but because we have the blender brush, I decided to give it a different name so that way was ever packaging it will not be so confused. You've got some glorious stuff in the background. Yes, but it's a it's a vaporwave mix, so hopefully she should be okay. You guys, if you are subscribed to our emails, make sure you check your second email today. We sent two out. Check that second email because there is a surprise for all the girls. Gotta go for that 90s ultra square, almost dipped in vibe today. Look at that square. She is no joke. Beautiful. So let's go in with the new mixer bit. This bit is great, you guys. It blends in everything. You can also use it as an undernail cleaner and it is not sharp. So if you're heavy handed, if you're worried about hurting your, um, yourself or your client or whoever's nails you're doing. No, no, no. Don't have to worry anymore. <sighs> ads again. YouTube ads. Beautiful. Look at that blend. So now I'm going to take my smoothie buffer and remove the shine. Remember, anytime you're doing any kind of ink design, whether it be with the pastel inks, the volume one, volume two, gold and silver, it's always best to work over a matte finish, a matte surface. You can buff the nail and do it over like that, but you will be using acetone, which can lead to product breakdown. So a coat of our matte gel which her name is Velvet, is incredible because not only does it um, give the most matte finish, it also just gives the nail an incredible, almost powdery texture. So that way, the inks spread out so beautifully and so even, okay? Let's remove the dust. And we just did the restock yesterday on velvets. And if you want matte nails, our velvet gel, you guys, she, this is the girl you don't mess with because she will slay the game. It is the most matte gel in the world. In the universe, okay? When we made the new formula of velvet, which is the one that I'm using right now, she is... She came to, really, she came to cut. Oh, Ignacio or Alina, can you tell Tony about the schedule for Thursday this week? Let's pick that for a minute. Bomb diggity, yay for the code. Keep it a secret. Someone asked, can you use one? Yes, of course you can. I used it yesterday.
and of course my right hand, so more fine line painting. Not last week I, I began Tremor, oh my gosh! Well, Sue, you know what? New designs coming your way. When life hands you lemons, we make lemonade, and that's the truth. Look how mad that is. Actually, I didn't put my thumb in all the way. I need to make sure she is dry all the way. It is so mad, you guys, this gel. So, so mad. Yes, we are working on that soon. We're also working on the lamp restock. Bye! Don't party too much, Lena. <laughs> so, let's talk about the inks, you guys. Inks, 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 okay? So, because our inks are so heavily pigmented, pigment has weight, okay? And it tends to settle at the bottom, so you gotta shake them. So we're going to shake them. And the way you can tell it's been shaken well is that when the ink at the bottom it's kind of like more transparent when you can see inside the bottle. That's when that ink has been shaken. And when you do this, you sing, shake, 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 Sonora. Shake it all the time. What the heck? Let me know if you guys know what song that movie is from. Shake, 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 Sonora. Shake it all the time. And they have so much pigment. For those girls that say, oh, their inks have no pigment. Liar. Look at that. I mean, if that's not pigmented. Bye bye. Now let's go in with Miss Lavender. Give her a good shake. Or actually, you know what? Let's go in with yellow because I used lavender on these. So let's go in with yellow. Shake, 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 shake. These are the pastel inks that we're using today. So you can see that the ink is starting to disperse. Oh gosh, and they're sealed so tight. Oh, there we go. the screen the screen is calling my name she's like a pistachio look how beautiful that is you guys and literally these kinds of designs using inks um using foils are great for people with limited mobility they're great for people that don't have the nail art skills because literally the design does it itself the only thing I always recommend is less is more when it comes to mixing the inks. Because not everybody, you know, can sit there for like three hours and paint a nail. Ain't nobody got time for that. Oh, this pistachio. This pistachio. So let's go in with last color. Let's use Miss Peach. Oops. Oh, 
apologies. Maybe it's because these bottles are sealed so tight. This now looks like a, uh, what do you call it? Starburst wrapper. Look how dope that is, you guys. Spring Garden Sherbert. Let's add a little bit of lavender. Or actually, no, blue. Let's add blue. You know it. Mix, 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 mix. Mix, mix, mix. Just to add some cool tones to it. So we're gonna take our blender brush. And we're very, very gently going to blend in the colors. Remember, less is more. Less is more when blending, okay? Tap, tap, tap. If you blend in too much, it will uh, just kind of make the design look kind of muddy, and we don't want that. We want some definition, but we also want some fluidity. And then I'm going to use this gold right here, which is Fungel 109 from the new Lottie Dot collection. A wrong brush. And again, I apologize, you guys, if I can't see every single comment right now. So just take up a little bit of this gold, and I'm using my Sailor Magic art brush. Just follow the lines where they naturally occur. Okay? Don't overdo it. Baker for about 30 seconds. Just to freeze those colors in place. Because we are gonna seal with one coat of shiny. Totally, totally, totally. Cause that gold, she is pigmented. She is. And 113 and 112 from Lottie Da. I can't wait to use those colors over black. They are just gonna look like mother of pearl. So let's go in with one coat of shiny. You guys, I'm so excited for Florida. I can't wait to see you guys in person. And hang out and do some fun nails and share our techniques. shiny and look at that it just melts everything together so beautifully let's bake it for one minute this 
start new year. How exciting. Can you use blooming gel with the inks? I personally have not. I don't think they would, chemically wise, they would work well together because the inks evaporate and the blooming, blossoming gel, like fun gel 001, it keeps moving. It keeps expanding, so it would I, I would uh, imagine you would probably get maybe rippling or something like that. So play around with it and let me know how it goes for you. But I personally have not tried it yet. Not off the top of my head, actually. I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> We're going to finish, of course, with cotton candy cuticle oil. Make it nice and juicy. Look at that. Oh, so beautiful. I'm going to wait about 10 seconds and then apply our oil. And if you, I would have used a white base, the color would have been 100,000 times more pastel. Right now they're very cotton candy-esque. But if I want even softer, just go with the lighter base. Remember, the lighter the base, the brighter the design. But if you use different color bases, like, I don't know, blue, black, gray, you'll get different effects. So just play around with it and see what works best for you. And there we have it with my Ariana Grande pose. Look at that. So beautiful. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this little demo. I love you guys so, so much. Don't forget to visit enocouture.com for the best Noah products in the world. Stay safe, you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.